the biggest risk for bond investors right now are the bank's contingent convertible bonds. Why? Because the regulator's decision in uh, Switzerland to make the 81 bonds go to zero and make bond investors lose all their money was certainly a big blow to the confidence in the regulation itself. Certainly a big blow to the possibility of banks to continue to increase and strengthen their capital ratios and strengthen their balance sheet through the issuance of these convertible bonds. Think about this. In an in a time in which the confidence in the system was very low and negative rates were implemented, what the, the best way for banks to improve their balance sheet was to issue these contingent convertible bonds, which had a 50 percent debt uh, situation. They, uh, they, were, uh, they were viewed as 50 percent debt and also 50 percent equity. No? In fact, many of them were viewed as uh, capital uh, in themselves because they could be converted to capital very quickly if the percentage of uh, the capital ratio went below a certain level. Now, with the decision of the Swiss authorities of not uh, giving bonds that quality of capital and being converted into shares, what they have basically done is to put a big question mark on the most important uh, uh, tool to reinforce the capital of banks in, in Europe. We need to pay attention to this because uh, if you think about this, the, the fact that they are convertible at least gives some confidence to investors. But if they don't convert into shares and the risk in the capital ratio remains elevated because of low rates and massive liquidity injections, then that instrument is not something that investors are going to accept at the current yields. Either the yields are going to be phenomenal and therefore unattractive, or the uh, demand for those bonds is going to diminish significantly. Sometimes regulators tend to hurt the things that they intend to defend. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, leave your comments below and keep defending freedom. Thank you very much.